Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I fill in my wonky eyebrows. Um, bring this in a little closer. So, so if that interests you, stay tuned. Um, but anyway, I want to bring this in a little closer so you can see how sparse they are. Okay. So you can see this one here, like they are microbladed. I had them microbladed about uh, four years ago, three, four years ago. So that's the leftover part of the microblading, which brings it over. But this is where my eyebrows were plucked from back in the like 70s and 80s. And I've always just been filling them in ever since then. This one here, like literally, there's like very little hair on there. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I fill these in and so that maybe if you have the same issue with your brows that you can, uh, you know, adjust them, uh, the way that you need to. But anyway, there's a few like general rules that we can follow. So anyway, I'm going to start with this, uh, Benefit Brow Pencil and, and it's, it's going to be a little bit darker than what I normally do. And it's in 3.5 and I'm going to go and I'm going to start right up here. And I am going to bring that over this way. Right up into where that arch is. And the arch should be right there at the center of your eye, where your pupil lands. And then here, it should be right where the corner of your nose meets there. And then that's a good place for you to start filling that in. Okay, and I hold the pencil diagonally straight up and down, or not diagonally, that would be this way, horizontally up, up straight and down like this. And I go over, like so I get that part filled in. Then I'm going to leave this part here because um, I just want to kind of make that go out a little bit. I don't want it to droop, pull down this eye here, like if I brought it down too far. Alright, so the next step is to go in and just kind of do like hair-like strokes. Go up to that arch part there and bring it down and kind of bring it out. I don't bring it all the way down to where it, it ends. Down here. I just kind of bring this. I try to focus, like just leave that. Again, like I said, there is a microblade on here. Um, at the tail end of a microblade, I'm due to have it done again. So, all right. And then kind of fill out here. Then I go underneath where you can see here, right? And I go and you can see where there's like hair missing there. And I'll fill that in. And this is a little bit darker than what I would normally do. Um, but I want you to be able to see uh, how this is being done. And then under here, I'll make a very faint line underneath here because I don't want it to look like there's a line. But you can see, like I have no hair here. This is all microblading. And I try, my goal is to make them look as natural as possible so that they don't look like they're uh, penciled in. And then I just kind of make like a flicking motion with my pencil to make like hair-like strokes going upwards. Okay, so you can see like it's kind of looks a lot better than where it looks a lot better than what it did, you know, when we first started out. And then you know, I'll kind of balance it out with this one. This brow is a lot better shape than that one. So I, um, you know, it doesn't take me as much work to fill it in. But I'll go in from up here. I'll measure that out. And then I'll bring that straight across. So it's just really, I don't go up too much higher on it. Like that got kind of messed up there. I don't go up too much higher on this one because it doesn't need it. There's already a lot of more lift in this brow as it is. Like I have a brow bone here, right? So that sits up higher on this side. And my, you know, when you, as you age, your face kind of just starts to sag. It doesn't sag evenly. It's just kind of uneven. So anyway. 
I try not to make it look like lines though. So I'm just trying to show you how, like if you can keep the angles, right? Like straight that way, straight this way, and then out that way. So if you can keep in mind that and, and just kind of follow the shape of your brow. You don't want to, you don't want it to, because the brows are like your signature, right? Like if you start, uh, you know, completely changing them, you'll look like a completely different person. All right, and again, I go underneath here. And up here a little bit, you'll see where I have this dip here. I'll go in and I'll fill that in a little bit underneath there. Again, I'm just following straight lines, right? I wish I would have followed these straight lines, uh, you know. 30 years ago, but I didn't. So the majority of the work is being done above the brow. It's not being done below the brow. And then make these hair-like strokes going up, 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 up. And then I'll just look, stand back and look to make sure that it looks even. Sorry, I had to pull that up just to make sure. Okay. Okay, and next, I'll go in and I will take a little bit of wax. You can do um, this Benefit Pro palette. There's wax in the center part of this one here. I'll go in and I'll take my brush that's on the end of it, the little spoolie brush. You can see that, but it's a little brush. But you can use the brush that's on the back of your, you know, the back of your brow pencil, the one that's here. Because what I'll do is I'll go up and I'll soften this up a little bit and brush everything up so the hairs kind of brush up, 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 up. Then I'll take this wax and I'll pull any hairs up that are left there just so it looks more natural like my hair. Just keep pulling up and pulling up. Like there's hardly any hair there, but you can see there's, there's a little bit. So if I can have that work for me, I'm thrilled. I'll go back into that wax again. And I can sometimes just like emulsify it in my, my hand so it doesn't get like chunky. And go over here again and just brush that hair up. Brush it up, brush it up. And if I move too much away there, I'll go in, I'll take a stand back and look at it. Like I don't like the way how square this looks here, so I'll go in and kind of round that out a little bit there so it doesn't look so square. Here. But I do like it looking more like hair, closer. Look, like it's kind of fade off. Um, oops, <laughs> wrong end. Go ahead and brush that up. Take this piece, you see this little piece right here? I don't like the way that looks. I'll go in and fill that up there. Yeah, looks better. And I'll look underneath here to make sure I didn't brush it out too much and fill that in. Oops. Yeah, that's what I really like about having my eyebrows microbladed. You don't really you know what I mean? I don't have to worry about filling these in as quite as drastically like as I am now. And then what I'll do is I'll go in just to kind of make it look fresher looking is I'll take some concealer and I'll take a real fine brush uh, and go into take some concealer either on the back of my hand or just kind of tip at the end of it. Not much, very little. And go in there and just kind of carve the brow out. Go right up against that line there. 
I'm gonna go really slow because I don't want to bump into it and I'm trying to do this while I got the camera. And that's almost too much. Okay, and then If I put too much on, I'll just take a clean brush and go underneath there and kind of blend that out rather than use the same brush where there's potentially more uh, product on there and just kind of soften that up. And you see how that just kind of sharpens it up and makes it look cleaner underneath there? It just gives it a little bit more lift is what I'm looking for, almost like a brow lift. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Go right up underneath there. Focus on the arch part here. You really need very, very little product um, to go in there. But like I said, if you do put too much product, don't panic. Don't try to blend it in with that same brush because you'll get it all up in your brow. Just take a clean brush and gently sweep back and forth and bring it down. Don't bring it up into the brow. Bring it down or out. Just kind of blend it in a little bit. And then what you can do is just take whatever foundation, I mean, whatever eyeshadow that you use, go in there and just kind of blend that up so it doesn't look like it's blended in and just kind of go in there. I didn't even put anything on here. This is what I used earlier today. So I didn't even have to put any more product in it. You don't, you can, again, just take another clean brush and go back there and just kind of clean it up. And there you go. There are my brows. There they are. Those are my brows done. You can see the before and after, and I'm ready to start my day. All right, guys, if this video helped you, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.